Well, it's f***ing cold out here today. So much for the sun. Back out at our Port Melbourne project. The subfloor has been done. Got that all cleaned up, which I'm wrapped about. Been insulated. Got a nice, strong surface under our feet now. We've had the plumbers in. They've come in to put in their storm water. They've come to put in all the sewer points, so they've scratched away, dug away. From there, we decided to go against getting an excavator in here and digging away. We've got the boys out, labor is in, got it done. And now, we've got the chippies in. They're forming it all up to be finished today. From there, poly goes down. So that's the plastic. That's a membrane that stops any moisture getting through into the slab. Steel comes in. We've got another issue with the access of the steel. Literally gonna have to drag it off the truck, bring it straight in, put it into place. The sun is almost setting. We are under time pressure. The steel reinforcement has gone in. We've got trench mesh going through the bottom. We've got those bars coming through the screw piles to make sure that everything's tied together. And then we've got two sheets of mesh over the top. In the corners, we've got a few bars going through just to really strengthen it up. The boys got all that done in a day. It's a really good job. The inspector's come out. He's approved everything even better. Big day tomorrow. We've got another pour on at the same time, so we're gonna be struggling to get here and there, but you'll definitely see the final product. And here we go. It's pour day. Concrete in from Hanson, pumping as we speak, through the hopper, out the pipe. The boys are getting it in, hitting it with the vibrator, make sure it all gets in there. Setting the levels as we go, double checking with the laser. Setting those heights and screeding it back. And this is the final product. Just finishing off those little areas, screeding, hitting it with a mag trowel, full floating it, and then we jump on the chopper to bring that cream to the top and make it look good. Can't get much better than this. Welcome back. We're stripping all of the formwork getting the site all cleaned up. We're starting to do the set out and getting ready for the frame. We've got to look at our engineering plan and we've got to work out where all our structural columns are coming in, where all our structural beams are coming in, set them out on the concrete floor so that we know where the steel is going to be opposed to timber and work our way through that. We've had all of our grid lines marked by the land surveyor previously. So behind me there, we've got an offset at 500 mil. That's why we've got this line here. So we're working back to that mark. And that gives us our first grid line. We've also got grid lines marked here and here for the rear of the house. So that's how we got that point. Then we worked off there to do that 345, just to double check that it's nice and square. This is why it's really important as well to always get your land surveyor to come and mark out everything. Timber deliveries arrived, nice and early, just what we need. <laughs> it's good to have timber on site. Not too many people can have timber. This timber I ordered two and a half months ago, 10 weeks ago, before this job had even started in the current climate. We've got to think about these things a long time in advance. And this is a big change because timber and people it's normally a two day turnaround, banging on the phone, but at another moment, it's uh, anywhere from eight to 12 weeks. I ordered the timber, hoping that our timeline would work. And it's literally worked to the day. Not saying I'm a genius, but I'm pretty good. We're gonna walk it through, a bit of manual labor, stack it from the things that we're gonna use last, and then move our way forward to what we need straight away. So you've got to think about these things when you've got all these type of constraints to maximize your efficiency on site, to having things like that. So you just got to think a little bit ahead. We'll start to work out all those load paths, do a pre-cut, start to lay the plates, 
get our steel measured up, work out our posies for the first floor, because you've always got to be organised and always got to be thinking about the next step. We'll start framing, integrate it with the existing roof, and just start building this place step by step by step. We're having a great time hitting all of our timelines. We're actually in front, so this job is running fantastically. The clients are wrapped, the boys are all happy. Just keeping that progression going. If you're enjoying this, subscribe. If you think it's some content, smash that dislike button twice. I'm hoping you guys are all enjoying being updated and learning how to renovate your own places. If there's anything you want to learn, just let us know and we'll keep taking you through the process.